good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to tip number 12, uh, day number 12 of MCO in Malaysia. And I'm really happy to be able to do this uh, session with you. And uh, today I've got another very interesting tip. Um, you probably have heard of it. You probably have done it. But as I say, it's a tip so that every week, every day I give you a tip so that to remind you that you know this is very important for you to do in order to have an amazing life. Like I always have said, uh, people do uh, use law of attraction. And of course, some of you are learning for the first time about Ho'oponopono. And the reason why people do law of attraction and use Ho'oponopono is because they want to attract an abundance of good health, wealth, and happiness. And uh, I, I mentioned to you that I've, um, you know, I've done many programs. If you go to my YouTube channel, Kadigeshu Sivalingam, you will actually find a series of, you know, topics on how to use law of attraction, how to use open up and all. But I, at the same time, I, I thought every day will give you a, uh, tips. So today's tip that I want to share with you today, it's called um, segment intending. Okay, it's called segment intending, and I want to just share that with you. Um, I, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, uh, this this uh, couple called uh, Abraham Hicks, who teach law of attraction. Okay, and um, and amazing, I, I one of those I've been following, even before the book The Secret came out. You know, I've been following them. Anyway, Abraham Hicks actually is the one who first talked about this thing called the segment intending. There's also another author that is uh, who's known as uh, Eckhart Tolle. E C uh, Eckhart um, E C K H A R T Tolle T O L L E. He wrote a book called, uh, he wrote many books, he's written many books actually, and he's, he's, one of the books is called The Power of Now. Power of Now means um, use your every moment in life um, to enjoy life. No, don't keep thinking about your, your future, your future, your future, and future suddenly you're old already. So everything you do on a daily basis, you want to enjoy it, you want to be able to focus on it, no matter how bad it is. Even you could be really broke, you could be really, but when you're having your lunch, if you're having food, be thankful you got food and enjoy the food. That's called power of now so um uh, abraham talks call, calls it segment intending okay uh, segment intending is very very good because um, you know when you do hope on you all sit down and do hope on and you know say i love you i'm something thank you and then now i've told you about the 17 seconds so you're doing visualization of your house and car and all for 17 seconds which is very good but you, those, those are just moments moments means you do hope on uh, three times a day five times a day okay good very good then you do your 17 seconds of uh, visualizing the things that you want. Very good. But what about other times? What else do you do? What, 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 what do you do other times? Are you worried? Are you thinking about other things? Are you so focused on or fo so worried about COVID or the politics? Or are you read newspaper and get all worked up? Or you look at social media and get upset with people? So a lot of time we lose the essence of life. So segment intending is very simple. Um, you you need to um, enjoy life. I mean, I, I do you remember your past life? You don't. Do you remember? Do you know what's going to happen next? You don't. So how, basically, if I ask you how many lives we have, we have one. Why? Because that's the only life we can remember. Of course, as I'm a Hindu, and as a Hindu or a Buddhist, and all, many of us believe in about past lives, and we are born again and all, right? But nobody knows. Nobody remembers. Okay, so you won't remember what were you in this life if you don't enjoy this life. So this life itself, every moment must be enjoyed. Poor or rich, whatever, enjoy. You know, you know, children when they're born, have you noticed children when they're born eh? uh, and they were one year two, you realize they enjoy life. They just, just enjoy life. They can fight. And then uh, two minutes later, they'll be hugging and kissing. Uh, they will, you know, they'll fight, push each other and cry like, you know, I would nobody, be, like brothers and sisters, you've seen them, they argue with each other, fight with each other, and then they become good friends again, and then they will eat together, and they will share their food together, and whatever, because they have no qualms about anything else. But as we grow up, we tend to start worrying about a lot of things that we don't enjoy every moment of life. So segment intending is very simple. This is the tip for today. Eh? Segment, segment intending is, you need to look at your life from the time you get up until you go to sleep. From the time you get up until you go to sleep and you divide them into segments for example you get up in the morning and let's say if you're the type of person who do yoga or meditation that's one segment then you go to the bathroom to take a shower and all one segment then you sit, do prayers or do hoponopono and all one segment um then you you um, go and have breakfast that's another segment and let's say then you drive your car to a workplace that's one segment 
and then you go to work and you're working that's one segment and then lunch is another segment you know so it goes into what you call segment intending i mean you're going you're you're breaking up your life into different different segments uh, throughout the day okay and what uh, abraham hicks say in law of attraction and what they say with regards to segment intending is, is they say each segment you must have an intention that means uh, you are actually setting a goal for each segment you see now you have a goal about you want to make money you want to have a car you want to have a house are you you want to have when you want to achieve your goals in either in any of the businesses you do so you're setting a goal for the future but what you don't realize is you need to actually have an intention or a goal for each segment of your life so that when you when you go to sleep at night you have enjoyed the life throughout the day because you have actually had segments you have actually enjoyed and so this 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 segmentation what will happen is that number one it makes you focus more number two it will appre you get you to appreciate life more uh, number three you'll find that um, a lot of things will come through as you start focusing i'll give an example eh? let's say you get up in the morning and then you say okay i'm going to go and have my shower which a lot of you do right and all of us do right okay go shower but when you when you had a shower you are not going to think about what must i do after that or oh, i got to finish this homework i got to do that work don't think all that you just say okay i'm going to enjoy my shower i just want to enjoy so my intention is have a really good shower let the water come onto me cleanse me let all the toxins go away all the dirt go away. and so with that intention you take a shower so as you scrub yourself or as the water hits you your intention is uh, telling the water as you as you as you come down cleanse every part of me take away negativity from me take away so what you're doing is you're focusing so much on yourself and you say as the water comes on me i want it to cleanse cleanse my organs i want my kidney my heart my liver so this is called segment intending so you actually very focused about your life in that segment is that okay then you come out of it and then you get ready for breakfast right and then you go and sit down either you bought breakfast or your wife made breakfast or your mom made breakfast somebody made breakfast you sit down then segment intending during that breakfast put away your phone and everything just enjoy your breakfast enjoy whether it's a toast or bread whether you're taking italy whether you're taking roti chana whether you take anything also enjoy smell the coffee smell the food enjoy the moment you know and and if there are people sitting with you your family members talk to them, communicate with them, you know, have that intention. You're going to enjoy the breakfast with your family. You're going to enjoy every morsel of the food. That's called intention for the food. Okay. And then let's say after that, you're driving somewhere. Okay. So if you're driving, have an intention as you get into the car. I'm going to have a safe journey. I'm going to enjoy my ride. I will reach there safely. Because you see what happens is people wonder why is it that accidents have place? Why is it that, you know, Sometimes I, I lose. Why? Because the moment you get into your car, you don't even have an intention. Your job is, must quickly reach my office place. My quickly, I must not be late. I must quickly reach my office place. Or it is like, the moment you got to go, oh, I got to pay this bill. I got to pay that bill. I got to... See, what happens in our life is, we are so much thinking about what to do that you don't enjoy the moment of your life. Does it make sense? So it is so clearly important for you to be able to look at every, every moment. Uh, morning meditating. Okay, meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Enjoy yourself. I mean, I think that a lot of families have this rule that I don't know whether you do that. During the food makan time, no phones. There's two reasons. One, if your family is there, I think you should really communicate with your family, talk to your children, talk to your spouse, talk to your parents, communicate. It's very important. I'm telling you today, one day you're going to say, I wish I'd spend more time with my parents. I have a good a friend. A friend means I got to know him through this program. And he texted me last week and he said, You know, Mr. Kathy, I live in Ipoh. I think he's watching this. He said, my, 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 my dad is 82 years old and he's got dementia. I mean, he cannot remember anything. And he says, I only wish that, you know, my dad can remember and spend time with me. I can talk to him and communicate. See, so, well, I don't know your relationship with your parents. I don't know your relationship with your children. I, maybe it's not very good. I, I don't know. But I'm just telling you, whatever that you have, you should enjoy. You know, I, I know I, I used to take my dog and I still do every morning. I take my dog for a walk, you know, just outside my housing area. Right. And, and, and uh, you know, sometimes you just go and then I used to carry my phone with me and look at my, then I realized, oh my God, I shouldn't do this. So I put away the phone. When I'm out there, I enjoy it. I say hello to people who walk past. I will, I'll enjoy that. You know, I look at the leaves. I look at, so segment intending. I want to enjoy. Uh, my intention is to have a good walk with my dog, let him do what he wants to do. But I want to have a good walk. I want to meet people. I want to say hello to people. I want to walk and enjoy the nature. So you you become part of nature. Even like, say, eating. And you, your intention is, I want to enjoy my food. You look at every 
morsel. You look at the vegetables, you look at the potatoes, you look at everything. You look at everything and you say, oh, I, I enjoy this. You know, God has given me so much of goodness in life. Enjoy the coffee. I love coffee. So I like, oh my God, this is so good. The coffee, you know what? I enjoy every sip. I enjoy. So life becomes really nice because you are doing what you call segment intending. Every part of your life. It's not easy because you have to be very focused. You, have to be very, you must concentrate. You must really look into it and think about it. But you just have to break it up. You just have to break up every part. Initially, it might be, it will interchange and initially you'll forget about your phone. Uh, you'll forget, you know, like for me, when I do a talk like this, I, I, I do hope on up on up before I do the talk. I'll just say, God, dear God, I don't know how many people are going to watch me. How many people are going to see my video? I love you. I'm sorry. I would say, open up. Then I'll say, when I talk, I'm totally focused to make sure everybody who listens to me actually somehow or other, hopefully will benefit them. So that is a focus, which is why a lot of people say, Mr. Kathy, I love your talk. Because the way you talk, are you really talking to me? The reason is because the intention is that it's not about, oh, I want to just talk. After all, it's 8 o'clock. It's the intention that you have in everything that you're in life. If you do that, you know, when you when you when you communicate with your children, you communicate with your spouse, you spend time, you'll find your relationship will improve. Your your uh, connection with nature will improve. For example, when you eat and you enjoy the food, you thank God for the food you have. Your communication, your your connection with the nature will improve. It, I don't know whether you realize this, but I think um, uh, if you if you watch my uh, law of attraction videos, I think I've shown pictures of how water can change with thoughts words and feelings how water can change so please go and watch the video that i did on the 28th of may and 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 you know what and that means you need to know every cell everything our body is 80 percent water everything that we see around plants and food food is water so everything has got energy you know so your coffee has got water so any so when you are actually focusing the water that the coffee you're drinking what it goes into your body with good intention but if you drink it and like you don't even give it a thought and you know nothing and it's sometimes you why so good coffee so bitter. What you're doing is you're already making negative statements to the water that is going inside your body to take care of your organs, the food that you take. So everything, even work, you must understand something. You know, there's a difference between uh, you know, we call it uh, in, in Islam, it's really haram and halal in Malaysia. We say haram, you don't understand uh, halal, haram. A lot of people tend to think this haram means you know, you know, corruption, la this, la Listen, if you are sitting down to do your work you get paid salary every month and if you work hard okay and you get the salary that is considered as halal that's called as well that's why mahatma gandhi says wealth without effort is a sin wealth without effort is so if you're sitting down to work and your intention is you know what i'm being paid salary so i really have to work hard don't forget about oh my boss is not giving me promotion la. this is not bad la. they have been promoted la. all this listen don't don't talk about all that because you really need to understand that you've got to focus on what we do for better things to happen in life. So when you focus, so when you're doing your work, focus. When you when you exercise, you focus. And um, when you listen, you focus. When you do Ho'oponopono, you focus. Focus means uh, sitting down and just say, okay, I'm going to do my Ho'oponopono and I want God to give me all goodness in life. And then you do your Ho'oponopono and do the exercise. Blah, blah, blah. So every part of your life, I you know, parents, spending time with parents, you know, really focus, be there for them, yeah? So it could be on anything, gardening. If you're doing gardening, focus on your gardening. Smell the earth, smell the plants, smell. And, and you really find out that that everything that you do, the, the garden really flourishes. The flower. That's why they say when you talk to the flower, the flower grows better. Why? Because you're connecting. Do you know that? They say you, know, you talk to your flower, your flower will grow. You talk to vegetable, your vegetable will grow better. Because you're connecting, because your segment intention is connecting. Cooking, I love cooking. I, I I can cook almost everything because I learned from my, my wonderful mom, you know, before she passed on. So I, I can cook everything. And when I cook, I, I and I know many people have eaten my food and say, oh, I love your food. But the reason also is because segment intending. So when I go and cook, I'm like, I'm going to cook this food. I'm going to just enjoy it. I'm just going to enjoy my cooking. I'm going to, you know, love it. And then everybody was going to eat. So it's an intention. <clears throat> so that is tip number 12 today, which is, segment intending so basically the segment is your whole life starting from today try to do something about your entire life try to do something about your each part of your life and as you do it whether you're communicating with people whether you're eating whether you're drinking even bathing i told you what even in bathing time focus okay focus on being able to do it even if you're sitting on a toilet bowl and doing your job or so focus of cleansing yourself 
you know, as you as you're cleansing, as you're letting go, you just say, uh, take away all the toxin from your body, you know, keep me clean, keep me healthy. Because when you do that, your entire body listens to you. You are 75 trillion cells within your body, right? Each cells listen, and when the cells listen, the cells activate. And so you are not just giving an intention to that. So most of us are so busy. I want a car, I want a house, I want this. Very good. All that will come to you. All that will come to you. But you also need to know every part of your life is important. Okay, like you always say, no use having the car if you don't have a family, no use having a house if you don't have the family. No use having the money if nobody respects you. So enjoy life. Law of Attraction Hopano is so beautiful. There's so many goodness will come to you, but you need to break up every segment in your life and pay attention to every segment in your life because then every day lived is a good day. That's what it is, yeah? So um, I just want to finish up by telling you what and I say segment intending is many of you do this, you know, when you watch a movie, say you're watching a movie, you are so into the movie, like Indians, uh, those who watch Tamil movies, you're watching uh, Karnan, you know, with uh, Danush, you're watching a Vijay movie, you're like, Nobody can disturb you. Somebody said, hey, shut up, shut up. Your focus, oh my God, you know. That's what you should do with life. Focus on your food. Focus on your activity. Focus on your parents. Focus on your children when given the moment because you're going to have an amazing life. So with that, thank you very much. I'll see you with tip number 13, which is the second last tip for this 14-day program, tomorrow at 8 o'clock sharp. So with that, be safe. Uh, may God bless all of you. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night.